Give me a drink. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Just twist my ankle. <laughs> hey guys, Jamie here. Today I'm going to quickly show you something that um, I've made a real big point in my coaching. I'm here at Obsidian Strength. This is this here, a powerlifting club here in Melbourne. And I do a bit of coaching out of this gym. And I want to quickly show you something regarding the bench press that I've, like I said, made a real big point in my coaching over the last few weeks. And that's in regards to where you place your shoulder. So it's pretty commonly understood that when we bench press, we're going to have our shoulders kind of retracted in a powerlifting style bench press. We don't want to have our shoulders forward um, as it leads to injury and it's not very efficient. Um, but what's kind of often underappreciated is how we need to have our shoulders depressed. And when I say depressed, I mean down. So we don't want to have our shoulders up here at our ears. We need to have our shoulders down here as low as we can get them. Okay? For a number of reasons. The first and most obvious reason is by having your shoulders lower, it means that the bar is going to touch your chest lower. And if you've got a nice big arch, that means you're actually reducing the range of motion. So it's a little bit more efficient. Um, as well as a number of other things. So for the most part, understand that having your shoulders retracted and depressed and down is really, really important to bench press. But a lot of people have trouble with this for a number of reasons. And I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to illustrate this through a little um, experiment kind of thing you can do at home. So what I want you to do is just kind of sitting wherever you are, place one hand over your head. Right, and that's fairly straightforward, fairly easy. Now what I want you to do is have your hand by your side and with whichever arm you just did that with, depress that shoulder as much as you can. So push that shoulder down. Keep that shoulder down and slowly raise your arm above your head without letting that shoulder rise. And what you'll find is that you physically cannot do it. You cannot raise your arm above your head unless you allow your shoulder to come up. And like I said, we don't want to have our shoulders up, we want to have our shoulders down when we bench press. Now this is a bit of an issue because as you can see, say I'm laying on the bench press, and I'm here, and I want to reach up to the bar. In order for me to do that, I have to raise my arms above overhead. So that instantly is going to elevate my shoulders. There's no way that you can reach up for the bar without elevating your shoulders. Okay? So what I want to quickly show you is three little things that you can do to help um, alleviate this problem and help you keep your shoulder blades back and down during your bench press. The first thing is about where you set up on the bench. I'm going to exaggerate, but you can imagine if you set up really far on the bench and reached up really high, bang, your shoulders raised straight away, right? Making it very difficult to take the bar out and set your shoulders back and down, okay? Even with a lift off. So if I'm over here, reaching up for the bar, my shoulders are elevated. I can't, I can't actively depress my shoulders, okay? And even with a lift off, I'm going to have to take the bar out and then try and depress my shoulders. Makes it very difficult. You're better off trying to set up on the bench as high as you can. And it takes a bit of practice, but you want to try and set up as high on the bench as you can. So you watch me here, where I set up compar comparatively. Okay, you'll see that the bar is over my neck and not over my uh, eyes, like it's commonly rec um, recommended. Very small lift off. So that's the first point, okay? Setting up as high as you can on the bench. The second point, in order to help keep our shoulders blades down, is keeping your elbows in as we unrack the bar. If you open up your elbows, the same thing kind of happens. You open up your elbows, it raises your shoulders. Keep your elbows in and down. So same thing, we're setting up here. You don't want to be sitting up like this with the elbows open, because with open elbows, your shoulders come up. You want to keep your elbows down and elbows in. Okay, elbows down and elbows in. The third point that I'm going to make in, to help you set up and prevent this whole um, shoulder elevation is we're going to unrack the bar with our hips off the bench. And what this means is that instead of being like this, or like this, with your hips off the bench, you'll come up like this. So it means that your arms end up being lower than your shoulders. Because like I said, having your arms above your shoulders elevates this gap. So it's going to look like this. Instead of unracking like from here, we can pick our hips up off the bench and then unrack from there. Okay? So we're going to unrack with our hips off the bench. If you combine these three things all in one action, you're going to be able to unrack the bar where your shoulders don't elevate. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of unracks, one from, one from here, and then I'm going to have you come around and you can watch it from the front side. So you can see how my shoulders stay back and down. Okay? So I'm going to combine those three things. I'm going to start up nice and high at the bench, I'm going to keep my elbows in, and I'm going to unrack with my hips off the bench. And you'll notice that my shoulders never elevate. Okay? Or not very much anyway. Good, so retract my shoulders. I'm gonna keep my elbows in. I'm gonna pick my hips up off the bench, slide up the bench as high as I can manage, and then unrack. And now my shoulders are down, and they're not elevated, which is bad. 
Now do that again. Then come around this way. Okay. So you're going to see here, I'm going to retract my shoulders first. I'm going to slide up the bench, keep my elbows in, and pick my hips up off the bench all at the same time. I'm nice and high up the bench, elbows are in, little unrack. Shoulders are down, and they're not here. Okay, so those are just a, just a couple of points that you might want to um, kind of address in your own training and your own bench press technique, and that is keeping your scaps, your shoulder blades, as depressed as possible while you're unracking and while you're performing the lift. Um, keeping the, your shoulder blades down and depressed is even more difficult during the lift itself. That's something I might address in a future point. But for now, just know, keep your shoulder blades as far back and down as you can, and that all comes from a good setup. So setting up with your shoulder blades down is the most important part, so try and address those points in your training. That is, setting up high up the bench, keeping your elbows in, and unracking with your hips up. Hope that helps, guys. We'll be posting a couple of, hopefully, more uh, helpful videos over the next few weeks. If you've got any questions regarding um, technical points that you'd like me to cover, um, I'm more than happy to take those on, so please put those in the comments below. I do like addressing um, kind of more highly technical points, so boring things like, um, 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 I don't know, how to arch in a bench press or where you should grab the bar, that's kind of boring, or how to keep your chest up in a squat. That's kind of been covered a hundred times, you can look that up quite easily. But if you've got a particular question or something really specific, I'd love to address it. And, and, um, and please share that with me in the comments below. Otherwise, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Peach. I'm that guy. I'm a... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's playing. Just let it play. I can always clip it. The flash is like the light's on, the torch is on. Is that weird? Or should you turn it off? I don't know. What does it look like when it's turned off? <laughs> <laughs> it's better off. This could be on my bloopers. Alright, hurry up. Um, right, I'll show you three things that's going to help you with this um, issue. First thing is that we set up on the bench. Second thing is going to be... Wait. Hey guys, what's up? JP here. Today I want to quickly show you something... Uh... Fuck, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't laugh. <laughs> just look, okay, it's good. Just look dead. Okay. Just, it doesn't matter. Just keep it blank. <laughs> <All right. laughs>